Hello and welcome to DigiLink's course Introduction to Python for Linguists. My name is Petra Bago. In this lesson, we will cover regular expressions in Python. This subject is already covered in the course Introduction to Text Processing and Analysis. Here, we will be learning how to implement regular expressions in Python. We can just remind ourselves of the definition what a regular expression or regex is. It is a sequence of characters for describing a search pattern. Before we go into implementation, we'll first learn about modules in Python. Models are Python files that contain code. In those files, the code that is somehow related is grouped together. We have learned about built-in data types and functions. Well, the models can contain functions and other statements and expressions that we can call and that are not built in. In other words, we can write our own functions. And with these models, we can call those functions without the need to write or copy them every time. Models help organize code. The model that provides regular expression matching options in Python is called RE. Someone already wrote this model. It is public and we can use it freely. There are a lot of other models that are like that out there. If you want to know more about this model, take a look at the link provided on the slide. To use any model, first we have to import it. For this, we use the import statement. There are two ways to import a model. The first is to write import and then the name of the model. For regular expressions, that would be import re. Then, when we want to use functions described in this model, we have to write re, that is the name of the model, period, and then the name of the function. The other way is to write an expression from, then re, that is the name of the model, then import, and then star. Instead of a star, we can write the name of the function or functions if we want to use only the stated ones. When we use this way of importing a model, we call the function from the model just by writing the name of the function. We don't need to write re and period before the name of the function. There are various functions in the regex model. Here we are only going to mention the find all function. If you would like to learn more about this model, you can follow the link provided earlier. It's a very powerful module, so take a look what you can do with it. Find all is a function that finds all occurrences of a pattern in a string. The data type that this function returns is a list. So all the occurrences we are looking for in a string are returned in a list. The find all function takes three arguments. Two are mandatory and the third one is optional. The first mandatory argument is the regular expression we are using for the search. The second mandatory argument is the string that we want to search. The third argument is optional. It can be used for several different things but we are going to set it to RE period and Unicode capitalized or just capital letter U. This will enable searching not only ASCII characters, but also Unicode. We have already mentioned the difference between strings and Unicode data types. Well, this flag helps us use regular expression operations on Unicode data types. Before we look at a few examples, let's revise some symbols in regular expressions. We remember that a period in regular expressions matches any character except a new line. An asterisk or a star matches zero or more repetitions of a character or a set of characters. A plus matches one or more repetitions of a character or a set of characters. A question mark matches zero or one character or a set of characters. 
set of characters are indicated by square brackets. So let us take a look at some examples now. In the first example, we import a model for regular expressions. Then we look for all occurrences of small letter t and any one character after that. The string in which we are doing the search is Monty Python. The function returns a list of two occurrences found in the string. Before we look at the second example, you have to know that the import statement for a specific module is only to be imported once in the code. So if we write our examples in the same code, we only have to write it once. The other two import statements, for example 2 and 3, can be removed. Let's get back to the second example. In the second example, we are looking for any occurrences of the characters in the square brackets, which is lowercase vowels, and any one character before. The function returns two occurrences, MO and HO. In the third example, we are searching through a file named spam.txt. We have opened the file, read the file, decoded the file, and converted the characters to lowercase. All of this is assigned to a variable t. In this example, we have three arguments. The first one is the regular expression. We are looking for all occurrences of one vowel or two vowels appearing one after the other. The second argument is t, and it is the string in which we are searching, that is the content of the txt file. And finally, with the third argument, we are telling the function to incorporate also non-ASCII characters in the search. The function returned all occurrences of one or two vowels. The next example also searches through the same file. This time we are searching for any alphanumeric character that occurs one or more times. The special sequence for alphanumeric characters is backslash lowercase w. This expression in the example is used for finding all occurrences of tokens in a string or a text. Of course, if we define that a token is any uninterrupted sequence of alphanumeric characters. In the last example, we are looking for all non-alphanumeric characters, which is expressed by backslash and uppercase letter W. There are various special sequences, like backslash W, that you can find following the link provided in this presentation. Let's do some exercises. 